That's animals. I have to put animals away. Oh no! If you're like me, getting geckos in the mail is like a day of Christmas. Every single time they come in, it's like opening boxes on Christmas Day. But I'm telling you what, some days are a little bit more difficult to receive animals than other days. Don't get me wrong, I love getting geckos, but on a day like today where we have 25 boxes to ship, I have 14 tubs to clean, crusty gecko tubs to clean, I have a whole rack of geckos to feed, I have 6,000 crickets coming in to put away. They just came in, I still have to put them away. And I have to find room for these geckos. Oh, and I get to film a video on opening this box. Some days here at Supreme Gecko Facility, it gets to be so much. I love what I do, but trying to balance everything can be a struggle and a challenge sometimes. So let's get into opening this box. In the last few weeks, I've been talking to Jennifer Wood about getting geckos, about what she's been doing with her geckos, and sending her some geckos. So today, we get to open a box from Jennifer Wood. Now, before I open this box, I do want to mention that Jennifer has been on top of this like crazy. She included an Apple device in this box so she could track every single step this box took. If you want to know where these shipments are every single minute of the day, that's what you can do. Now, what is this device called? I think it's called a... Let me take a look for this. It's called an It's called an AirTag. It's for Apple devices. Now, I don't run Apple at all, and to be very honest, when I put a box in the mail, it's gone, and I really don't check until the expected time that it's supposed to be delivered. In my mind, during transit, there's really nothing I can do about that package to make it get there sooner. But again, Jennifer was on top of this. So Jennifer was tracking this box every single step of the way, and Jennifer sent me 863 messages from Monday until Tuesday. No, I joke, I joke. It's, I think she sent probably about two dozen messages, and I have to apologize to Jennifer because I wasn't really on top of everything with everything else going on. It just was impossible to keep messaging. So my apologies, Jennifer. You did a great job with this. Let's take a look at the box. What's inside the box? So here we go. Heat pack. This is that air tag. Heat pack is still warm. This is great. And great packaging. Styrofoam. Great packaging around these animals. Sphagnum moss, which is really super cool. It will help hydrate those animals. And we have three animals to put away. Now the struggle is going to be to find enclosures for these animals. Yes, I didn't plan this ahead. Let's go find some enclosures. Before I do, tell me in a comment down below, what do you think I got? What kind of animals came in? Let me know in a comment below. Let me go grab those enclosures. Here's the first enclosure. This is a three cube. I believe it's eight inches by eight inches by eight inches. This will be perfect for one of these animals. And I'll, I'm going to show you what that animal is in just a second. So hold tight. This tank is filthy dirty. I don't know if you can see all the water marks. And I'll be cleaning this up and sending it up for one of the animals. I have a brand new razor blade. Let me get started with this. Okay, I think we have most of it. You know me, I, I like to get things pretty clean, but it doesn't have to be perfect. This razor blade does such a great job in taking off <clears throat> the calcium buildup from water stains. And I think we're pretty close here. So now I'm gonna clean this out. I'm gonna put some substrate in it. I'm gonna put some decorations, and then we can take a look at the geckos. What are the geckos? Well, this is going to be a fairly tropical kind of a setup so I'm going to be using jungle mix and the geckos are Periodora 
Androyensis, one of my very favorite geckos. Oh, that's one of the packages. Ugh. That's two of the geckos. The other gecko is a viper female. These two are females, this is a, a viper female as well. Let me go get the supplies. Okay, I hope I'm not getting a shine, a reflection off of this tank from the light, but what I'm putting in now is a jungle mix. And all I want to do is cover the bottom by about three quarters of an inch or so. There we go. Now we're going to throw down some leaves. And while I do this, let me mention that this is just a temporary setup. When any animals come in, I always, always, always quarantine. So this setup I'm hoping will be fine for these animals for about a month, month and a half or so. I hate stems. I don't want a ton of leaves in here, but I want enough that the androyensis can find little cubby holes and hide out in the leaf litter. This is a Madagascar animal and they love to be down in the leaf litter. Next, I'm going to put some sphagnum moss in one of the corners and then I'll put some decorations in here. Okay, I brought back a bunch of decorations. Jennifer mentioned that they love these terracotta pots with the hole on top and this will leach into the uh, substrate, a little bit of moisture, to keep them hydrated. I'm gonna put another flower pot saucer down for them. I'll put the sphagnum moss over in this corner. And now I have to find some branches that fit this enclosure. I need a food dish and I need a water dish. I'll be right back again. Okay, I have my feeder cup, this is a mealworm cup with some calcium, vitamins in there, some micro mealworms, let's put that down. And I am going to add a water dish. Now I like these, I love these water dishes. They're only about a quarter of an inch in height and it's perfect for these little geckos. So if they do get in here, they don't have any problems jumping out. Let's go ahead and moisten down the damp side, put some water in the terracotta pot, and of course some water in the water dish. There we go. We're all set with the 12 quart container with sand as a base for the viper gecko. This is again another female. Jennifer, I couldn't be more pleased with these animals. I have the sand in about an inch deep. It doesn't really matter. This is a quarantine enclosure. This is going to be replaced shortly. I'll put a hide in. I'll put a mealworm dish in. And you guessed it, I'm putting a water dish in. And we're going to do a quick water. And I'm actually going to put some water underneath the hide to give this animal a little hydration place. I think we're all set to put the animals in their new enclosures. Let's do that now. I want to thank Jennifer one more time for these beautiful, beautiful, amazing animals. Hopefully this summer sometime we'll get some baby vipers and some baby periodora androyensis. I cannot wait. If you want to see other videos on rare geckos, make sure you watch these playlists right here. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next video. Because that's what they do in nature. This is a Madagascar. This is a Madagascar. This is a Madagar. This is a Madag. This is a Madagat. Get. Oh, come on.